Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. With a little bit of blue and black on a one inch brush, we can drop in a very, very soft little sky. Just work this sky all the way across. You see it just, you can barely see it. It's just a, a pale little color up there. There's not much paint on the brush. Put too much on the brush, it'll really be dark. I don't want a dark sky today. And then gently let it fade down with some yellow and white on a one inch brush. We can come right here to the center. Let's drop in a nice, nice little glow. Maybe the sun's back in there somewhere. Work that out in kind of a circle like this. And as you come out, touch in just the, the tiniest little bit of red, just so it starts to get a little bit of a, an orange color as it works away from there. Now we'll have clouds and things kind of floating in on top of this. So this is just gonna be in the background. Very, very soft colors. And let it work gently out there. Now we'll load up the filbert brush with some black and a little touch of brown. And let's come, let's come right about here and start dropping in some nice clouds. I think, I think I wanna use the filbert brush today because it'll give us a little more control. We get complete control over what's, what's gonna happen here. You can use a big brush. It'll be a little less controllable, but you'll probably get a very nice effect anyways. So whatever you want, it'll work just fine. And fill it in, just like we do when we use a big brush. All right, maybe something over here. Now with the two inch brush, we can very, very lightly blend these clouds. I know they look pretty rough the way they are right now. So we'll just mix them up a little. And this is a, this is a newer brush. That's why it looks a little different than the others. I'm just using the top corner, I'm doing tiny little circles all over these clouds. This softens them and sets them right back into the distance. Make sure not to contaminate your nice, sunset there in the background. You don't want to drag your dirty brush into the light. Now we can take off our little piece of tape here. That was just to keep our horizon line nice and straight. Now we'll take a, a one inch brush and just rub in some color. Black and just a little bit of brown. We can also add some red and blue to it kind of change it up. You don't want the water completely the same all the way across. Some areas are a little bit darker. Maybe in the middle here, we'll add a little extra highlight. There, cut it right in, right into that line, but don't go over. Be careful. You may even want to grab a, a tinier brush there. Now, as you can see, I sketched in where I want my big wave to be. So we'll just paint around that. I've picked up just a little bit of white and yellow on the knife. We'll just kind of tap in some of these very, very distant waves. This is the easiest way to get kind of a, a wet looking shimmer in the background. Just touch. Let them get a little bit darker as they come away from that light. Maybe pick up just a little bit of red to add with it as it comes away from the center. Now maybe we want a, a small wave back here. So I'm just gonna rub in where the eye of the wave would be. Right in here. Maybe we'll have a, a couple splashing back in the background. Not too much color, only a little bit. Then with some white, we can add on the foam. Now we'll load up our filbert brush with some green and white and a little touch of yellow. And now we can begin kind of thinking about our, our big wave here. Just rub in the eye of the wave there. 
then add a little bit of black to the color so you start to get darker as you come away from the eye. And then you can add some blue and get even darker. Now with the one inch brush, we can begin to blend this. I'm just using one corner of the brush and gently working the colors together. Work from the light and then go down to the dark. Don't drag that dirty brush up into the light. Now we'll load up the fan brush with some white and just a little touch of red. And we can come over here and kind of lay on some highlight. Not too much. Just a little here and there on this wave. Just enough to make the, the light hit the top. Now with some black and a little bit of brown on our fan brush, we can come about right here and just start dropping in some nice background rocks. Just using the corner of that brush and pulling down. Maybe there's one there and another little guy right there. We'll have our splash go right in front of this to push him back. Now with the filbert brush, we can rub in a lot of this foam. In fact, maybe it kind of breaks the horizon right there. This is just really the dark part of the foam. We'll come back and put some nice sparkling highlights on in just a second. There, maybe it comes all the way down here. Kind of fill it in like that. And it goes in front of these rocks. Now we can drop in some nice big rocks right here in the foreground. This helps to push the splash very far away. With some yellow and red on the filbert brush, we can drop in a nice highlight here. Now I'm using the brush like this rather than like a pencil because it helps me to kind of layer the paint on. If you do it the other way, it kind of has a tendency to cut through the paint. I really want to just layer this highlight on very bright. There, I love that little extra red I put in there. Kind of, kind of reflects what's going on in the rest of the painting. Really helps to tie it in. All right, leave all these nice pockets of light and dark in there. That's what makes it look so detailed. You can do them very quickly. Just let your hand run right around. All right. With the knife, we can rub on just a little bit of highlight. I'm just rubbing the knife back and forth, and getting a nice soft little texture back here. Not too much paint on the canvas. There. Now, as we come out, I think right about here, there will be some light that catches the rock. So we'll just do that. Oh yeah, look at that nice sunlight out there. And then gently let it fade back. Now when you're done with your splash, you can drop in a little bit of color right down here at the bottom. This is just some blue and green and white. Rub that right up against the wave. And then as we come down, go into a little bit of black and brown. Maybe we'll have a little beach down here. Now we can rub in a nice little line of foam. It runs right across the painting like this, maybe off the canvas right about there. A little more paint right there. And then we'll grab a fan brush and then blend it back. Just grab it and pull it straight back. The last thing we want to do is add in a few finishing details with the liner brush.
All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my instructional DVDs. And thanks for watching. Thank you.